G'day guys, this is Captain Noob here today with the two-shot mighty Western Revolver. So this is a Nuka World DLC weapon, so yeah, we're going to see a little bit more of this in the streams pretty soon. Anyway, so here we are with it, it's got the two-shot effect, which means we'll be doing plenty of damage. Boosted with the sneak attack criticals, we're able to one-shot that guy. And while our aim might not be the best with this, we can certainly do a lot of damage per shot. Rate of fire on this weapon is a little on the slow side, but that's how it goes for basically all revolvers in this game. Yeah, that little cocking animation that you do between each shot really slows you down. We'll take out that turret just early, and we will kill this private who's in here. Shoot him. Alright, what did we get for a legendary? Because I did see two shot. Two shot combat shotgun. Not the best, to be honest. So we'll neutralize these two turret threats, and we might as well get a little bit of that action here. And not on that mine, I don't think. So we'll crit this dude, and we'll crit the guy after. Head explodes. Nice and cool little effect there. Keeping that G rating from rearing its head on my videos, I suppose. And see if we can get a gun bash kill on this gunner. It looks like we can. So moving through here pretty well. The rate of fire is limiting our DPS, but haven't run into every any troubles on being swarmed or anything, so it's working just fine. Back to hidden now, which means we're able to get a snake attack crit. Now what we'll do here is a little bit of gun foo, so we'll line up these turrets first, and first three shots do increasing damage, but fourth shot and everything after does a guaranteed critical, so it'll probably do well against these gunners. Got plenty of uh, VAT shots in, simply because we've got a reflex sight and the shortest barrel we have on the weapon, so we're able to get heaps of VAT shots that way, which is really neat was debating putting on the long barrel when I was loading this weapon out, but I realized that the benefits you get from having the longer range is minimal, it's only about 20 or so more, and yeah, you know, you don't get a lot of benefit out of that. We'll take this gunner out and we'll finish off this dude. One crit doesn't do him in, the second one definitely will. You're mean looking with that missile launcher, I'll take that out of your hands by removing your face. And we'll go about our business like nothing happened, don't worry, that that missile didn't hit us. It's completely reasonable to survive a missile launcher attack like that. There we go, we'll finish off her with gun bash again. Looks like this dude wants to get in our face, we'll make sure we get all our two, two shot effect extra damage on him, bolstered by Mighty. Not a bad combination for good base damage. But as you can see here, we're struggling a bit in the DPS as this dude is allowed to move around and really make a mockery of my aim. Last two gunners in here, might as well crit them. Oh, completely missed the, pressing the spacebar to get the crit then. Nice view of the glitchy outside, we'll just Cover that up, that didn't happen either. Move along, finish off that turret, and now Gunner's Plaza is clear. So, a pretty decent weapon. Definitely better than a two shot or mighty revolver on their own, but yeah. Let's see how we go against the monsters. Okay, here's Swan, and we'll try to kill him with our two shot mighty Western revolver here. So, the way we're gonna do this is just gonna target his face and vats and use all the criticals we can possibly muster. So there's critical number one. Without the suppressor we're only doing 3.9 sneak attack critical damage, but it's better than nothing. A 4.4 with a suppressor would be ideal, but we're, we're doing alright. The thing about the Western Revolver is, while its DPS is pretty bad in real time, you can actually do a lot of good work with it in vats because this thing is pretty damn efficient in that we'll be able to get in a bunch of shots and without being detected there will be around sneak attack crits so definitely a good way to improve your weapon damage. 
now looks like he's lost us and is walking back to his position pick up that hub flower for no explained reason at all and while he's over there we'll reacquire him we've got three crits to go on him which is pretty decent so we'll use that I think we've got a four leaf clover proc there because I didn't actually use that crit which is nice hopefully we're not out of this weapons range because if we are we'll only be doing half damage if you're not sure how range works in this game, is it's that um, if your wep if your target that you're engaging is out of your weapon's effective range, as you know, indicated by the weapon card, the weapon will actually do half damage. And I learnt this through the use of creation kit. So who says you don't learn stuff while modding games? I can hear him approaching us, so we'll just slip out here and stay sneaky. See if he tries to go back. Yep, looks like he's trying to go back, so with the old bait here. Poor old swan's not a very perceptive lad, I'll tell you that much. So we can just hide in these bushes and pretty sure we'll get to finish him off with this. It'll be tough to tell. But those crits we're getting are certainly helping us with our damage output. We'll pop another one. Only a few more shots left in him now, and looks like we'll stay hidden for the entire time if we're lucky. Probably risky getting to, to get detected if shooting at him from this range, because at this point he can hear us, but he just can't see us. The brackets are really close to moving on danger now, but it's not going to matter because we'll kill him before they ever reach it. So poor old Swan never knew what hit him. Which is really stupid because I was shooting him with a big, loud, dirty revolver here. I mean, how hard is it to find someone who's shooting at you, Swan? Anyway, there goes Swan. We'll move on to another monster. Alrighty, here we are down at Walt 111 once again. And it's time to take on one of the scariest creatures in this monster little mod that I've been using. So, as we're rounding the corner here, we can go into Vats and we'll probably find a, a crow that was strangely hovering. I guess radiation takes its toll on everything. Wait a second, those crows are always there. That's some symbolism, Bethesda. Anyway, we'll go ahead and shoot this giant scary radroach now and we'll try to kill him as soon as possible because this nasty little bugger hits like a truck. Two sneak attack crits on a row, so we're off to a, actually a pretty damn good start. We've been detected now that we're not getting sneak attacks, and he is charging like a mad cavalryman now. Now I think it's probably best for us to finish off all our crits at this point, and then jump over the fence and mess up his pathing to make sure we don't end up in the jaws of a giant scary red roach. Now you might be laughing at me at this point, but let me tell you, this Radroach doesn't mess around. He is the avenger of every single innocent Radroach that have been killed in Bethesda's Fallout games. We're lo I'm losing him, which is... It uh, hasn't really happened. This guy usually keeps on you pretty damn well, but if I can get another snake attack critical in, I'm not going to be... Uh, fussed about it. Not quite hitting him there. It looks like Penetrator Perk isn't really helping me there, and not even the crit will allow me to hit him. But we're still in caution, which means he must be as deaf as Swan. Usually he isn't. Usually he's on you like a fat kid in a cupcake, but we should be able to get a good shot at him now. Hopefully we can shoot a bullet through a little bit of a bush. We can rapidly fire our shots in succession now, and yes, looks like criticals don't really matter because it um, doesn't do that cinema cinematic little animation before the critical, and looks like he's stuck, so yeah, I think we might take advantage of that because any day where I don't have this massive giant rad roach chasing me around is probably a good day. Also, it'll be more representative of what this thing can do rather than me jumping around and possibly missing a few shots and it'll kill him a lot faster than that way anyway but maybe it's not as entertaining 
We'll try to move in on him a little bit. Yep, there he is. So we probably don't want to get too close to him. I think this is the feeling that I get when I've got uh, when I'm at the zoo and I see big lions on the other end of the cage. Of course, I wouldn't shoot them, but I'm, I'm not going in there. We'll crit him as soon as we can. Penetrator perk is doing a lot for us. We're actually able to penetrate through this chicken wire fence. Not sure if we're able to do that at all without the penetrator perk, but I don't think he would be able to. So, there's one very dead red roach. I'm lucky he didn't get a bite on us because it is scary, let me tell you that much. But, I think I'll come back with another revolver as the sun is rising here. That's a nice little view. Fallout 4 does have its moments, although I'm on pretty much the low graphic settings. My computer isn't that strong, but the view's still kind of nice. So, that's it for the two-shot mighty western revolver it's a pretty damn good weapon provided you're using it to its natural finesse and ability but yeah that's it for that i'll try to get another video up since i, list I missed yesterday sorry about that but yeah thank you guys for watching